E. Duke Vincent, an Emmy-winning producer of shows like Dynasty and Beverly Hills, 90210, is dead. He was 91. Vincent died on February 10 in his Montecito, California, home, according to an obituary written by his wife, Pamela Hensley Vincent, for the Santa Barbara Independent. With profound sorrow I inform you of the passing of my beloved and brilliant husband, E. Duke Vincent, a legendary Blue Angel, an Emmy Award-winning television producer and writer, and an accomplished novelist, the obituary began. His death was also confirmed by the Blue Angels Association in a post on Facebook. Before starting a career in the entertainment industry, Vincent pursued his dreams in aviation. He joined the U.S. Navy after graduating from Seton Hall University and was a member of the Blue Angels for the 60-61 to 61 seasons. He fell in love with television after filming the photo sequences for the NBC show of the same name, The Blue Angels, and resigned from the Navy in 1962. Alongside writer Arnie Kane, he wrote and produced seven one-hour documentaries called Man in Space. He worked with Danny Thomas and Sheldon Leonard, the executive producers of The Dick Van Dyke Show, on Good Morning World, and began getting more television production roles. After writing and producing the television films Panache and The Impostor, he met Aaron Spelling, and the two began working together in 1978. They have production credits on 43 series, including Dynasty, Beverly Hills 9210, Melrose Place, The Colbys, Hotel, and Vegas. As executive producers, they worked on Charmed and Seventh Heaven. They also created seven miniseries and 39 made-for-television films, including the Emmy-winning and the band played on. Vincent also used his writing skills to pen four novels, Mafia Summer, Black Widow, The Strip, and The Camelot Conspiracy. During his 40-year Hollywood career, Duke wrote or produced over 2,300 hours of film and tape, including 1,600 hours of primetime and over 750 hours of daytime television. His titles when he retired were executive producer and vice chairman of Spelling Television, his wife wrote in his obituary.